Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm really excited to talk about a cartridge that was considered America's 375 H and H. It was America, one of America's first modern dangerous game cartridges. And of course, what I'm talking about is the 35 Whalen. The 35 Whalen is a non-magnum that gives you magnum performance. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the history of the 35 Whalen. We're going to talk about the performance. And lastly, I want to compare it to a very popular Magnum and how it almost matches its performance downrange. Real quick, I just wanted to do a huge shout out for Quest for the perfect load. He supplied some of the pictures that are going to be in this video of the 35 Whalen. He has a great YouTube channel. Does a lot of reloading stuff and range stuff with all certain calibers. And in fact, his most recent video is on the 35 Whalen. So please go check him out. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the history of the 35 Whalen. In the 1920s, there was a man by the name of Wesley Simpson. He was an American who was considered an expert on African hunting. Now, Wesley became friends with an army colonel named Townsend Whalen. And Wesley mentioned that him using a 35 Winchester, it was a bit lacking as an African cartridge. And Leslie was telling Whalen that he wanted a cartridge that would shoot a 250 grain bullet uh, 2600 feet per second. Now Whalen shared this info with his good friend named James Howe, who at the time was working for Frankfurt Arsenal. And James Howe is the one considered that created the Wildcat cartridge, the 35 Whalen. Now James created it in 1922 and he named it after Colonel Whalen. It was a very successful Wildcat cartridge and in 1988 Remington made it into a factory cartridge and they offered it in their Remington 700 rifle. Fast forward to 2022 and the 35 Whalen, other than a few really loyal fans, is kind of a forgotten cartridge. If you want a new rifle in 35 Whalen, your options are extremely limited. One of the good options is this rifle here, the CVA Scout. Now let's go ahead and look at how the 35 Whalen performs. Now that we know a little bit about its history of the 35 Whalen, let's go ahead and look at the performance. Now remember, the 35 Whalen is simply a 30 6 case, which is what this is, necked up to 358. So some of the popular bullets, you can get a 35 Whalen and a 200 grain bullet, and this is Nosler's book. They claim you can get over 2,900 feet per second. That's moving in this cartridge. Can I also say the 35 Whalen is probably one of the most efficient cartridges you can get? I believe so. 225 grain. This is going to be what's really impressive. Over 2,800 feet per second. That's really good. Okay, you can also shoot a 250 grain bullet at just over 2,600 feet per second. So it hits that target that uh, Leslie Simpson really wanted, a 250 grain over 2600. In the beginning of the video, I did mention that the 35 Whalen almost matches a popular Magnum, and this is the popular Magnum I'm referring to. A 338 Winchester Magnum loaded up with a 225 grain Acubond and hand loaded it at 2850 feet per second. Your muzzle energy is just over 4,000 foot-pounds. The recoil, around 33 foot-pounds of recoil with a 9-pound rifle. Now, let's just take this out to 400 yards. It is going 2,216 feet per second. Energy at 2,454 foot-pounds of energy. And then the drop is 27.18 inches. So let's now look to see how close the 35 Whalen gets to the 338 Win Mag. The 35 Whalen loaded with a 225 grain Acubond with a BC of 0.430. Now, the problem with the 35 Whalen 
is with its traditional hunting bullets, uh, it's not going to be able to match the 338 Win Mags BC. So, but let's see how close it gets. And you can push that going 2,800 feet per second. And your energy, check out that energy at the muzzle. Almost 4,000 foot pounds in a non-magnum. As I said, this is a non-magnum with magnum performance. And it does come with some magnum recoil at 30 foot pounds in a 9 pound rifle. Let's just look at the performance. Uh, 100 yards, it's still having 33 50 foot pounds of energy, and really almost out to 300 yards, it's neck and neck with the 338 Winchester Magnum. Yeah, the 338 Win Mag has a, over 200 more foot pounds, but that's not that huge of a difference, uh, especially when you consider the 35 Whalen is just a 30 out 6 cartridge. So out to 400 yards though, the bullet's still going 2,000 feet per second. And the energy, there starts to be a bigger difference. It's at 2,000 foot-pounds compared to 2,400 foot-pounds for the 338 Win Mag. Now, here's something fun. The drop is very close. You know, it's basically identical out to 200 yards. About an inch difference at 300 and 3 inches of difference at 400. This is surprisingly really good. The 35 Whalen is a very underrated cartridge. It is the American 375 H and H, and I believe it is a great cartridge for any game in North America.